In this video, revealing the seven best passive income ideas that I learned from millionaires and how complete beginners are earning $100 to $700 a day with no experience. More of that after the intro. <laughs> Hey guys, how's it going? Mike Vasile here. Welcome to this video. Before we actually begin, I remind you that some spots have opened up for this week's free workshop, where it's the fastest and easiest way to make money online. Sign up for it in the link below. We literally have a 62 year old grandmother go from zero to $160,000 profit in 90 days. So check it out now. Okay, okay. So check this out. I literally go ahead and interview multimillionaires here in Bali. That's kind of where I'm located with my dog and my girlfriend. And you can see, I mean, some of these people here are straight out of a Netflix original movie. Like this 11 year old girl that turned on $30 million and this guy that makes a million dollars per month profit, as well as like a slew of these other people that I interviewed on this podcast that literally have made millions. And I asked them, I was like, okay, well, what past Passive income ideas that you do that you liked, and what passive income that you, ideas that you do that you did not like, right? And obviously, I tried the best ones out only, and that's why, like on my blog, I record all of this. Like you can see, one of them turned from zero to eight thousand dollars in the first month, and that's without my own product. Another one for, went from zero to five grand the first month. That was, so that was like pretty exciting. I was like, oh my god, this is freaking amazing! And you can see that that business went from zero to one point six million dollars a year within the first year, but it had its ups and downs, and we ended up pivoting to even a better better business idea, as well as another one where you could see it all getting deposited, literally, this is like a screenshot of one of my bank accounts, 35K about every single month or so on the low end. Um, so yeah, you know, when, when I literally see something like, for example, 20 best passive income ideas from millionaires, and it's like a blog post that I saw on tried and true mom jobs.com, I'll just put like the links in the description. I wanna compare that to you know what blog articles talk about versus literally what I talk about on my podcast with multimillionaires from people that were just like you and I that for some reason transcended to you know the higher level of millionaire oh, and was now able to attract themselves freedom, lifestyle, abundance, as well as like providing for their family. So let's actually break it down and see if we could get seven of the best ones and compare it to even like what I do and what I learned from all of my mentors, right? So of course they break down what actually passive income is. Um, and it's defined with you really either doing one of two things, investing a lot of money or investing a lot of time to get started, right? But like, for example, for me, I'm like raised from broke immigrants that came from the Philippines, right? So I didn't have the ability to go ahead and invest millions of dollars in an index fund so I could live off of 100K a year, right? So I knew that I need to figure out ways to put my time and where I put my time could literally create money for me. My only problem with a job is it was very linear. I had to give an hour, and you know, get paid for an hour. Give an hour, get paid for an hour. Passive income is not like that. You could work for like three to four years, work your butt off for three to four years, but that, what you generate with the passive income could literally pay you for the rest of your life, right? It's literally money that you earn on your sleep and it's money created by you creating value, not by trading your time for money. Does that make sense? You can see exactly what this is. Um, there's so many different passive income examples that they're talking about, but the first one that they talk about is rental property income. So you're like, well, have you ever thought about earning passive income with rental properties? Well, here was like the only thing that I did not like about that is you do need some type of money, right? Like I, for, I, for example, when I first got started and I want to make passive income to make $200 a month, right? You literally need to go to the bank, borrow money. You need to put like a lot of your money down and then you need to have someone to go and live in that to make $200 a month in passive income. There's so many different ways that I'm gonna actually share with you that I learned that I was able to make $200 a month in passive income that I did not actually have to go ahead and for example, borrow money from the bank and you know find a tenant as well as like putting my own money down. That was like too risky for me. So like for most beginners that are just getting started, real estate's good, but it's not necessarily the best way when first getting started. If you really want it, you know, like a good alternative. And this isn't financial advice, I'm not a financial advisor. One platform that I've been literally looking at for Fundrise is literally, um, real estate investing is Fundrise because then you could, you know, be able to invest in places without actually having to go ahead to specific locations. And this is literally like around the US. And you know, a lot of the deals that go onto this, they're very well vetted. So the fact that, you know, you don't make a stupid decision, right? So I'm literally starting to look at this right now um, when it comes to real estate because I'm trying to diversify my portfolio. But like I said, this is an investment advice. This is something that I would just, you know, keep a lookout for because I know a lot of smart people that are just starting to pool their money into Fundrise because they're outsourcing someone else finding the deals for them while they're still getting a return in their investment. But like I said, that takes a lot of money to get started, right? Like if you have a million dollars, maybe you could earn a hundred grand a year. 
But like for most people, especially me, I didn't have a million dollars getting started, so it's not the best passive income for beginners. But you know, millionaires, they have so much cash, they're like, well, we're just gonna park it in here because it's better just keeping it at a bank. Does that make sense? Now the next one is crowdfunded real estate, so that's exactly what they were talking about. Um, you see Wealthy Nickel makes $3,000 a month from you know their, you know, uh, uh, what's it called crowdfunded real estate that's kind of like what fundrise is but they're recommending this other thing which is called ground floor right and you, if you literally click on this you could see exactly what it is um, it's kind of similar to that you earn your twenty dollars and start investing today um, and this is like the alternative investments that a lot of you know millionaires are moving towards because they just don't trust traditional banking systems and whatnot right and then you could see the next thing that they talk about is uh, getting into real estate but without buying or selling anything I mean this person made 400 grand a year while homeschooling for th three kids and this is something that I tried getting into like before I started traveling and doing digital business my only problem was like it was very hard for me to do real estate because I had to deal with people face to face and you know I'm not like the, the most extroverted person in the world like I know that sounds weird like Mike you're making a YouTube ch channel aren't you sure that you're not actually you know like deep down I'm actually like introverted and I want my alone space and I don't want to like talk to people all the time I don't know hashtag you know like forever lonely and whatnot um, but it's like a good way for, for a lot of people getting started you know with passive income ideally it's almost kind of like a mentorship program because you know where a lot of rich people make a lot of their money passive income wise is like I said they get real estate and they get someone to live in it and then they get paid off of the cash flow based off of their money, right? So, you know, one way to get there is literally get into the real estate industry because odds are you will literally bump elbows with someone that make a bunch of money and then learn from them directly. I mean, that's literally what I did, but on the digital real estate of things. Same way like how, for example, you could literally get a place and for example, you know, make a bunch of money that way. I can literally rank for a real estate online, like for example, this keyword right here, Shopify versus Wix. And it's like a little piece of real estate that I own on the internet. And same way how a lot of eyeballs go towards like really nice real estate, for example, for commercial properties, you know, there's literally eyeballs that also go online in the internet sphere of the, you know, universe. That's why they call it traffic, right? Because like, for example, if you get like a real estate, like I was supposed to be a dentist, right? And if I was gonna be a dentist, I would wanna get like a dental practice right by where there's a lot of car traffic. Mm. Well, online, there's this thing known as website traffic where it's literally what is known as eyeballs going to your site. So it's like you owning a piece of real estate, but instead of you investing thousands of dollars, you know, I literally started this blog for like a couple of dollars in like a month, right? So overall, like maybe like 100 or 200 bucks every single year, right? And you know, I own digital property where one of these blog posts could easily make me $200 a month. Right? I even have like some YouTube videos that make me more than $200 a month. So I'm starting to see like, wow, you know, this real estate thing that a lot of, you know, old school millionaires are talking about passive income, all the new school passive income millionaires that I've interviewed on my podcast, they're literally going for the digital real estate, if that goes ahead and makes sense. Right? And we're going to go more about those later on. You know, the fourth one is selling on Amazon. So this is one of those digital real estate properties, right? Because if you really think about it, Imagine Amazon as a country, right? And you literally see Amazon as a country where they literally have about like, for example, 2.6 billion people going to their website every single month, right? And with that, there's a lot of traffic. Same way if you literally put a McDonald's right on a very busy street, it'll make more money. If you put your product in front of a busy word that people are searching for that has a lot of traffic or eyeballs going in front of that product, you're essentially gonna make a lot of money. You know, that's literally what I did back in the day. I would rank for things like, for example, Grill Mat. You notice all these things that pop up. This is literally Amazon telling me like, hey buddy, there's a lot of traffic for these words. If you go and rank a product for these words, you could potentially make a bunch of money. So I literally did it for Grill Mat and you could see some of these Grill Mats get like, they're $19, um, right? But the craziest thing is, you know, you could literally go to a site like, for example, Alibaba, and let me just type in something like Grill Mat, right? you can see that you know, your cost is only 78 cents. So it's literally buying extremely low and selling extremely high based off of like the products that you guys are selling with, right? That's just one form of real estate, right? Another thing that you could go ahead and, but like I said, the downside with this is it's gonna take a lot of upfront money and capital, but there are actually creative ways that you could sell on Amazon and rank for the real estate without you actually having to invest much money. Like there's two secret platforms. One of them is MerchByAmazon.com and um, kdp.amazon.com and you could actually sell, for example, t-shirts on Amazon for free 
with no front investing in you. You just upload things that, um, like for example, design work. Um, you set your list price, they ship it as if it was your own product, and then you earn monthly royalties for it. So this is literally what I did back in the day. Did you know if you literally come up to here and type in cat t-shirt, same thing, I can literally go and rank for some of these keywords, but the coolest thing about this is I don't have to buy my own t-shirts. I don't have to do any printing. I don't have to do any shipping, right? I just own this piece of real estate on Amazon. And the craziest thing is if someone buys this t-shirt, Amazon literally prints this design on their t-shirts because they have millions and they ship it out directly to the customer for you and then they just pay you. They do the customer service, the shipping and handling, the return. So it's really like a passive income, but you're not dealing like with the traditional real estate, like with investors, the bank and the tenant, right? You're just dealing with Amazon and it's free to get started, right? And all I literally did back in the day was go to Pinterest and type in something as simple as like cat t-shirts because I wanted to see what was already doing well. Cat t-shirt, cat t-shirt. And you can see that a lot of these cat t-shirts are doing really, really well, right? Like got to have more cats. Some of these are really easy to actually make. I remember going to a place like Upwork and just typing in graphic designer and you can literally hire people out to become graphic designers for you. I'll literally just go ahead, scroll this onto, for example, um, Philippines, as well as like $10 an hour or below. And some of these people, I mean, look at this, $10 an hour, um, she does pretty well. Look at this, $7 an hour, 100% job success, top rated. So what I would do back in the day is I was literally getting people to create designs for me and ranking them on certain platforms. And some of those you know, t-shirts would actually make me 100 to $200 a month in passive income. Now think about this, this was me selling in like the Jesus t-shirts as well as like elephant t-shirts because I knew that there were crazy people there to like go ahead and want to like buy things because like my family is like super Filipino so they're super like Catholic and I also had an ex-girlfriend in high school whose mom or grandma like loved elephants and she was like, she loved elephants a little bit too much but I think it's just because she was like Polish, right? Um, but yeah, you know, like you can literally get, like you can pay someone $2 to create an image for you put it into Merch by Amazon for free, and then um, automatically you already have a product on Amazon. You could have this done by the end of today, right? And the craziest thing is you're not gonna make millions on this, but some of these designs can make you $100 a month, $200 a month, right? And the craziest thing is that's the exact same thing as what normally people do with real estate, right? With real estate, with like you borrowing tens of thousands of dollars from the bank, putting tens of thousands of dollars of your own money just to get $200 a month. If you only got like 10 t-shirts to make you $200 a month, that's like you getting almost 10 properties, but instead of you owning the 10 properties, your assets are all digital and you still get passive income without you having to do anything, right? So this is what a lot of these people started moving towards because they're like, well, what works in the physical world also works on the digital world, right? And the smart people that are going from zero to millionaire really fast are the ones that realize the shift and they're like, whoa, I shouldn't just put all my assets in the physical world because all of my assets could also be digitalized as well as like virtualized because the same way how there's like traffic in the physical world where you know there's cars driving in front of malls and stuff, all that traffic is moving online, right? And you could own pieces of the real estate by just ranking for keywords, right? Does that make sense? So that's like a huge way that people don't talk about. Um, but like I said, the traditional way of selling on Amazon requires you investing a lot of money to buy from China. But with this, it's literally free. Like your only cost would literally be hiring a graphic designer, which is only $7 an hour. And that's so much easier than you trading your own time for the passive income. Does that make sense? Now let's actually go over to the next one and that's peer-to-peer -peer lending. Um, now this is something that's like, for example, the lending club, where you could literally get, for example, a 7.5% uh, return in your investment. This is just by like lending money out to people. You're essentially becoming the bank. Right? So every single time you keep your money in the bank, they're literally investing your own money off of your behalf, right? And they're making money off of your principal. Well, now what wealthy people do, and this is what a lot of people that I do, that I talk about, like for example, when they make a bunch of money, they literally become the bank by literally getting other people to take a loan out of their own money because their money's not doing anything and they get a percent interest in their loan. That's really why banks created credit cards because they're like, well, a lot of people are idiots and they won't pay back their credit card. So we can literally make seven to 10 to 12 to 14% off of their money with virtually no risk to us, right? So that's like one thing. Of course, lending your own money, there is some type of risk and you're gonna have to look into that. But like I said, this is just something that a lot of people are moving into, especially here in Bali. 
Another one is investing in dividend stocks. So dividend stocks are a popular form of passive income because you're essentially, you know, investing into a company that, you know, pays off dividends, right? So, you know, like I literally have an uncle that like retired off of dividends that he just, you know, invested a lot into AT&T earlier on. And now he literally makes enough just from the dividends from the company's profits when they pay it out where he just doesn't have to work ever again. But of course you do need a lot of money for that. Um, and like one of the most popular ones where I'm actually focusing all my attention in is index funds. You know, so an index fund is a mutual fund that follows the market and stock market. And the very popular ones, which they don't talk about, is a company known as, or a, a index fund known as VTSAX. Now you can see exactly what it is. It's Vanguard's Total Stock Market Index Fund. And I actually learned this from this book right here, right? And this book, like, cause I was an idiot when it came to personal finance. I felt like I was always good at generating money online, but I had no investment strategy whatsoever. And this book literally changed my entire life in terms of like where I'm gonna park my money. Because I know I could get disgusting returns on building my own business, but I also need to have compound returns by just seeing where to actually park my money. And for me personally, from all of the investment advice that I learned from millionaires, this is the biggest thing that I thought about the most in terms of creating passive income idea for myself. But of course, you would need some type of online business to go and throw a bunch of money into this, right? Of course, this isn't financial advice, but this is literally what I'm doing. I mean, I'm ranking on virtual real estate with, you know, for example, Google and my blog to Pinterest, you could see like on, for example, Pinterest, you know, we're getting 108,000 monthly viewers to these ugly blogs for free, as well as like my YouTube channel, as well as like Google and all these search engines, because it's the same thing as Amazon. It's a search engine, right? I've literally done all those things and I'm literally parking it all into, for example, index funds, right? That's also my, like what I'm doing for myself. Of course, for everyone else, it's different. Some people just want to focus on income producing assets, like what I do like on my blog. You can see like zero to $8,000 the first month, another business zero to five grand, and then zero to 1.6 million in the first year. And this is revenue, maybe I got like 30% profit margins on this. But of course, some of these, I did not have an investment strategy for passive income ideas because I did not spend time learning from people that had what I wanted. And when I switched and pivoted and learned from people that were already further along than me, I started getting results faster. Does that make sense? If you want someone to hold your hand and you want a faster and easier way to create passive income online, then make sure you sign up for this week's free workshop below because it's literally brand new this year and it's the fastest way that I've literally seen newbies go from zero to $1,000 a day in passive income. So sign up for it this week right now. As well as check my podcast, man. This 11 year old girl turned on $30 million. This guy that makes a million dollars from a profit. Check it out right here and right here. Hope it helps. Love you guys. See you guys later. Woo.